Well, all things go back to Joe Rose uh, to a certain extent. And so uh, we're sitting there, we're in our room, and uh, this was back when we were at St. Thomas. We used to be called Biscayne College. And, and Joe Rose comes in, and, and he starts talking to me and my brother. And, you know, Joe's just trying to he's – he's like a little gadfly. He's trying to stir up something. And so Joe's in there, and, and we're reading a paper, and, uh, and uh, Lyle goes, look at this here. And we had just scrimmaged the Falcons up in, up in Swanee in uh, Atlanta. And on the way back, uh, somebody stole Marino's shoulder pads. One of the, I don't know, whoever it was on the plane or whether they, they saw number 13's bag, they stole Marino's shoulder pad. And, 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 and all three of us, is me, Rose, and my brother, kind of like, oh, y'all, we feel bad for Danny. Oh, yeah, that. And I said, hey, man, <laughs> what if we were to call the Dolphins and ransom, say we got the shoulder pads, and ransom those things back. Well, as soon as I mention that, Joe Rose jumps up and says, we got to do this. We've got to do this. <laughs> and so what happened was we put this plan together to ransom these these uh, shoulder pads back to the Dolphins uh, and, and for some sort of bounty, some sort of money. And, and we really weren't going to do it, but we just thought it'd be, because we didn't have the shoulder pads. How are we going to do it? We didn't have shoulder pads. <laughs> we, we said, okay, here's what we'll do. We kind of laid out the script, and Joe goes, there's no way either of y'all can talk. Y'all have that Texas accent, and they're going to recognize you right off the bat. I've got to do the call. And, and Lyle and I Lyle and I looked at each other and kind of like, you know what? He's right. For one time, he's right. <laughs> and so Joe calls him. He puts a he puts a, a towel over the receiver of the phone. He says so, so he so he can muffle his voice. <laughs> and he talks to he talks to Ann, who's Shula's secretary. He, and he says, "I guess I was calling. I was reading the article about uh, uh, Dan Marino's shoulder pads, and uh, I've got his shoulder pads." And for five thousand dollars in unmarked bills, we will deliver the shoulder pads back to the Miami Dolphins. Well, she goes, "Well, I, I don't know. I can't make that decision." And Joe goes, "Well, you're you're going to have to make the decision because we're not going to stay on the phone. You're probably tracing the call." <laughs> he hangs up. So Joe Rose calls back and he goes, "This is this is the guy with the shoulder pads again." <laughs> And and anyway, he starts and he goes, well, you only have 30 seconds because we're only going to be able to. And she goes, you're not giving me enough time. And so, uh, we felt bad for him. <laughs> Next thing you know, there's buzzing going around in the lock. So I said, I'm going to go over to the locker room to see how this thing's playing out. So I walked over in the locker room acting like I was getting stuff up. I can hear people running around yelling, screaming about the shoulder pads. I go back over the room. I said, guys, we got to shut this thing down because we're going to get in major league trouble. They're going all over the place. All of a sudden, Marino comes skidding up in his – I think he had a Corvette back then. And he skids up to the locker room, goes walking in, and they said, they want $5,000. He goes, I don't care what they want. Pay them. 